Okay, so today we're going to build an omnidirectional antenna, um, and that means that this antenna will pick up signals from all directions, not just one, so it is super useful. What you're going to need is a 2.5 inch diameter PVC pipe, 1 fourth inch screws, 19 inch strips of galvanized wire, plastic coated 12 gauge wires, and a signal booster. The length of the PVC pipe truly depends on how much space you have available, and same goes for the number of strips of galvanized wire and the screws, but you want to have at least four of those for it to work properly. For this example, we're going to use a 10-foot PVC pipe, and obviously it's going to have a 2.5 inch diameter, and we're going to take, um, we're going to use 24 strips of 19 inch length galvanized wires, and what you're going to do is you're going to take all of them and you're going to bend them in a V shape, we're going to call it a bow tie, so that there's a little circle at the bottom. And you want each of the um, sides of the V to be at least like about eight and a half um, inches. So this is obviously an aerial and a front view of the PVC pipe and I have just drawn in like a diameter and copied it onto the front view. So what I did then is I traced the diameter down the front of the PVC pipe and I did the same, I traced it down the back as well. Um, it's very important that you get this very straight and accurate. Now you're going to take your wire and your screws and you're, going to and you're just going to take this um, wire and you're going to place it along the diameter and you're going to screw it in. You want to make sure that the circle part of the wire bow tie, the part which was twisted, is where the screw goes into the PVC pipe. And the red ones are just the ones on the back side. I just did that so that you guys would see that you want to have it on the front and the back. This is an aerial view of what it should look like. And this is um, the bow ties on the front. You can see that they are one foot apart. Um, you want to make sure that this is very accurate so that your signal is picked up properly. And I just drew in the red ones, which are the ones on the back of the PVC pipe, but they are aligned with the front ones, and they are also one foot apart from each other. Um, so again, the aerial view. And now I drew in another diameter, which is perpendicular to the one that we had already drawn in. And on either side, we have two more... Um, length of bow ties that go down the column. So as you can see there's that perpendicular cross at the top of the diameters and the green line is just where we traced it down the other two sides and these green bow ties are the other um, galvanized wires that you have to screw in along that diameter that you had just drawn in the same we had done with the other two. And those green wires are also one foot apart from one another and as you notice, they are actually right in between the black and the red ones, so they are six inches apart. Um, they are six inches below the black and the red ones, and it stays consistent for all of them, as you can see. Um, and I just drew in the other side of the uh, bow ties, which you would do. So you would basically have four lines going down your pole, and um, on each line you would have six bow ties, and this is for a ten foot. PVC pipe, it just depends on how much PVC pipe that you're using, but no matter how much, you want to have six inches between any perpendicular bow ties and one foot between any bow ties that are directly on top of one another. So, yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, imagine that the, nor that the bow ties, the red one is um, north, the east is the green one, south is the black one, and the purple is the west, just for this example. And we're going to take the plastic coated 12 gauge wires and we're going to attach them in a zigzag pattern between the north and the east, and then a separate 12 gauge plastic coated wire between the east, the south and the west, sorry. So this is an example right here, the west and the south, we're going to attach it so it looks like this. And the way you attach it is you take the wire and it has to zigzag around the screws at the base of the bow ties. So since it's plastic coated, you had to shave off with a knife the plastic that's going to be um, so that there's actual metal touching the screws so the electricity can be um, can flow from one to the next screw. So and you just kind of wrap it around the base of the screw and go on to the next. And you do the same thing for the north and the east one. And this is just the picture of what it looks like. And then what you do is um, you take two extra screws and you just screw them around 
the you want to have it around the middle of the length of the PVC pipe so this for me was five feet um, depending on how long yours is it will be different for you and you want to take two extra screws and screw them in one screw will be for the north and the east and the other one will be for the south and the west and what you do is you take the wire that you're using for the north and the east and you screw it around one of the screws and then you take one um, wire from the signal booster and you attach it to the wire from the north and the east and then you do the same thing for the south and the west it's a bit more self-explanatory if you just look at the picture and the way you attach it is you kind of have the screw come up from the pole you put the wires underneath and you just screw them down really tight so that the current can flow into the signal booster as well and there you go you just attach your signal booster to your TV and you have all your channels